Hello everyone, Fred here. Thanks for stopping by the Camping Family channel today. Well, it's that time again. Back at workout and rig. Out here in the flare. I'd like to finish up the uh, sofa bed install. That's the goal. So here's what we were working with here. So here's the sofa bed. This is the Thomas Payne sofa that we uh, swapped out from the jackknife sofa that was in there. And this is just kind of sitting there. Uh, I was looking for some ideas on how to mount. I had searched YouTube and could not find a lot of videos on how people are mounting uh, the sofas and the uh, the couches and the oh the lazy boy chairs. I, there aren't many videos out there. Let's put it that way. So in my thinking here, I did find one video where somebody was able to mount a uh, a custom bracket. It's like they melt, welded a bracket and use that to mount but i don't have uh i'm not a welder so trying to keep it simple i th went out to uh, home depot lowe's kind of walked through the hardware aisle and eventually thought well how about a door hinge i thought that would be a a very good option to mount the sofa and would make for easy removal if needed but looking at the door hinges at uh, the box stores like the Home Depots and Lowe's, the ones around here are only, uh, I believe they stopped at 4 inch. And looking online, I found 4.5 inch. So this is what we purchased. So from Home Depot online, 4.5 inch door hinge, commercial grade. Um... What I can say is these things are heavy. These are some heavy duty hinges and will work absolutely fine. So you get the door hinge and you get an assortment of screws depending on your install. Um, these can go into uh, either frame side or the door side. And they are, uh, it's primed so they're like powder coated. But if you really wanted to paint them and make them nice looking underneath your sofa bed uh, feel free to paint that's what we bought so here it is heavy duty this thing weighs it's got some weight to it but for these and screwed into the to the floor and on the side of the the sofa bed i think will be perfectly acceptable i'm not too worried about it but what i was thinking about doing was i'm going to use the screws that you get, this is the length here. Yeah, they look about one inch, which I think will work fine for the side that goes into the sofa itself. You know what I mean? So if I put this, I'm trying to do this all one handed. But if I put it in here, yeah, it's not cooperating. If I put that on the sofa side, that is going to be plenty to go into the uh the piece of uh wood that's on the side of that sofa i tried to look and see how thick the wood was on the side there where i'd be mounting i bet you it's like a uh if it's quarter inch plywood i'd be surprised it might even be uh not even quarter inch so these screws will work just fine i do want to get something heavier for the floor I'm thinking about getting some self-tapping, I don't know, like those lag bolts or whatever they call them. Like a self-tapping uh, bolt that I can just take a drill and just psh, put it right down in the floor. Probably go about an inch and a half. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, see where this project ends up. But I think uh, these heavy-duty four and a half inch hinges commercial grade will uh will fit the bill all right let's get started all right making some progress on this took out the bottom and i measured when this closes i took a look to see what the back looks like because that see how that kicks up so i wanted to see how much room i needed to allow for that and just kind of plan accordingly Really didn't take up much more than maybe a half inch. 
So I did want to leave some room back there in case something falls that uh, we can reach it. And I wanted to leave room on both sides, same way. About a half inch gap here. About a half inch gap over here as well. And then I lined it up and just kind of leveled it off here. Made it look even. And I think this is where I want to keep it. I can't move it forward anymore because of the bolts in the floor for the buckles. There's a hump. So I can't move that back board up any more than that anyway. So I'm pretty happy with where it sits. I have one of my hinges here. Just kind of, kind of taking a look to see what we we're looking at here. That'll be just fine. This is just plywood. So I'm going to use the four screws going in here. And then the carpet's not too thick. So I'm going to get a uh, maybe about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter bolt. Like a lag bolt. Or one of those big screws. And I'm just going to put four of them in there. That's the plan. I don't have them. I'm going to have to go to Home Depot or Ace Hardware. And see what I can get. But it should not take long once I get the hardware. Once I get those other screws. So we'll go from there. Alright, moving on. Alright, so I just got back from Ace Hardware. And unfortunately when you go to Ace, they don't have the, the selection that you would get if you went to like Home Depot or um, Lowe's. But they had leg screws that were like black and they were like powder coated or painted. And they were almost a dollar a piece for being an inch and a quarter. And I was not going to pay that price. But they did have these galvanized kind of a leg screw. Same inch and a quarter. But, you know, they just weren't as fancy and not painted. These are just galvanized screws used for decking. So I picked up picked up a bunch of these. I think I picked up eight. So I'm just going to put in two. Two into each. Um, hinge you know maybe I'll just put the two we'll put them on the ends and I'll just use regular screws in the middle but I didn't see overdoing it I mean these are gonna there's gonna be a lot of there's a lot of steel here that'll grip on the wood so I didn't see doing all four we'll just do uh, the outers and be done with it but let's uh let's get started yeah should take long All right, so we have the first hinge in place, and my thought is to put them as far back as possible on both sides. That way, uh, that's where it's going to be its most sturdy. So let's go ahead and uh, let's drive in our first set of screws here. All right, right now I'm using the rigid cordless. So use whatever you have available. This one just happens to be an impact. So I've got my impact bits on here. And I found a wide Phillips head that fits snug inside of this thing. So you don't want to get one that's too narrow or else you're going to strip it. So I found one that's it's the wider footprint. So let's go ahead and drive in some screws here. And uh, let's make sure we have some torque here. Should go in uh, pretty straight. Let's uh, turn up the torque. <laughs> yep. There we go. I had to put torque on three. As you heard, it was not playing nicely. There we go. That is solid as a rock. Just with two of them, you can. <laughs> that thing is not moving. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drive in these other two. Oh, I keep moving it. 
I'm winking. I can't sit. Not moving it. There we go. Now let's switch bits. We got the attachment on half inch. And I don't have a Torx bit for this. This is just standard. But these are half inch. So use whatever you whatever you have available. <laughs> Alright. So we'll put that on there. That went down good. like metal there <laughs> that one went right in this one did not go straight in maybe a piece of metal under that yep I may have hit a piece of metal under that one so we'll do that find out real quick let's go back to the drill Standard screw. Let's see what we're hitting over here. Yep, there's a piece of metal under that one. So, that's okay. I've got two lag bolts in there plus that screw. That is holding that tight. Let's go get the next one and we'll move to another spot. All right. Oops. Yeah, making a mess. How do you like that? The next hinge, take it out of its package, get the package material out of the way. Put this one right here. Just like that. Okay. Couple of screws here. Let's put our screws in first. We'll see what we run into on this one, eh? You know what I might do is put one screw in. Oh, look at that. So there's some padding here. There's some padding. This must be the carpet fabric. I don't know if I want to go through that. I'd rather, let's move it up just a little bit here. There we go. That's more appropriate right there. Oops. Live TV. More hands. Okay. For some reason that wasn't as flush as that one was. That's the way it is. Yep. Everyone's going to run into their own scenarios. <laughs> You're seeing mine. That one went in no problem. No problem with that one either. There we go. Alright, let's go back to the Phillips bit. We'll finish driving these screws in. Enough hands. Take it slow. There you go. This would really help if these were probably not powder coated. 
so the magnetic tip would work, but that's not going to be today. There we go. Oops. Sorry about that. There we go, guys and ladies. Two in, two to go. I must say, there is nothing that is solid as a rock. Not moving anywhere. Okay. We're going to flip you around here. And two more to do. And we will uh, be done with this. Okay. Did the other two hinges. Okay, last two hinges here. Just a reminder, ever built four and a half inch. These were from Home Depot online only, at least in my area. Your area, I don't know, your Home Depot may carry commercial. The commercial heavy grade stuff. Where I live, not so much. And this package is not opening up. Dump. Hmm. All right, hinge here. Let's see what we have over here. Same type of scenario. We have the padding there we've got to contend with, which in the end was not a big deal. I just didn't, I couldn't move it. Let me move you over here a little bit. There we go. There's a little bit of padding here. So I opted to move it in. Move it past the padding. Just to give it a little more secure. Not a big deal. Let me switch bits here. You know what? Let's just drive those other two in. It's not going to matter anyway. There we go. Okay. Switch bits. Get that bit. Insert. Okay. There we go. Again, these are the galvanized lag screws. I forget what they were called. I think there's galvanized screws. Let's see what we run into on this side. Not a thing. There you go. All right. We got those in. Switch bits again. Finish off those two screws. Just like that. Again, somebody may come up with a easier method than this to do a mounting this was what i thought would be the you know kind of the cheapest easiest for me if you know somebody that can weld a bracket and use the original bolt set that is obviously the way to go because then you're not doing any custom drilling you're just building a new a new bracket me not so lucky that's all right. Okay, so we're going to go way in the back on this one. Let's move way in the back here. Here we go. All right, let's see what we have here. Let's get a couple screws in the top here first. See where we land. See where we land here.
in done so we'll do two more screws and the mounting is done <laughs> if I can get my bit back in there we go all right this bit regular screw and the last one so what it take me 10 minutes there we go so here's all of our extra screws right here there's a pile and here's the rest of the pile oh, a couple more here there we go all right so here we go we're fully mounted just like that well let's put this all back together and try it out hey another project in the books let's go see and just like that, we have a finished product. All mounted and secure. <laughs> I love it. Pops right out now. No worries. Yep. Solid as a rock. Well, if you're still sticking around, thanks for watching. My daughter's going to be happy. She's got a place to sleep. See you on the next one.